Hi, I'm back again. I'm going to do a quick hair update. Um, it's super damaged, still very green. And today I'm going to try doing the bicarb of soda and anti-dandruff shampoo trick, which is basically mixing anti-dandruff shampoo, bicarb of soda and fairy wash, fairy liquid, basically that. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the consistency of it. I'm going to put this on, leave it on for maybe an hour and see whether it takes out any of the green. Okay, so I probably should have told you that you're supposed to wet your hair before you do this because it makes it a lot easier to distribute into your hair. So I've done that and it's all on my hair now. I've applied a bit of heat to it with a hairdryer just to open the hair cuticle up a little bit more or the hair shaft, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to leave it on, sit in the sun for a bit and then I might wash it out in about an hour and see how how it's done. I can't say I have like high hopes for this either, but I think the more I do it, the better the results will be. Um, and after this, I'll use like a really intensive hair mask to make sure that it's um, well hydrated because it's going to really lack moisture after doing this. But yeah, this is what I'm doing to try and get more of that green out of my hair. So I washed out that mixture that I, I made for my hair and so much of the green came out. I couldn't believe it. It was actually running down my neck. And what I did was apply some heat and go out in the sun for a bit. And it seemed to just drip out of my hair. And then when I went to wash it out, there were so many suds. I just continuously washed it and washed it, got all of the suds out. And now I've got a um, hair mask in that I applied some heat onto as well so that it's really sunk into my to my hair and as you can see it is looking a lot blonder than what it was so I think I'm going to leave it for a few days and do exactly the same process and see what my results are um, I will show you tomorrow what my hair looks like because I'm going to leave this on for a, an hour or so but yeah we'll see how it goes this is the result of my hair after doing the uh, method that I just showed you. This is the, the day after and as you can see a lot of the green and blue is out of my hair now. But it's just this bit here that is really still quite pigmented. But I think I better leave it alone now. Having done that method I realised that it is actually quite damaging still. Um, quite a lot of my hair fell out. It kind of became a bit straw-like and gummy in areas. So my hair really needs a break, but I am thinking I might try mixing up some red and another Directions dye I have called Cerise, which is quite pinky, and putting it over this and turning my hair a little more purple pinky to counteract some of the green and the blue that's left over. And then I think I should really leave it alone and let that fade and... Yeah, this has been a journey. I would not recommend dyeing your hair blue if you ever want to change your colour again. It is impossible to remove and I still haven't put any bleach in it. Um, yeah, definitely do not recommend dyeing your hair blue if you change your hair often. It's impossible to get out and my hair is so damaged. After all this, I'm probably going to do a protein treatment. I have... Um, a treatment called Aphigy two-step treatment which puts protein back into your hair especially if it's gummy and dry so that's going to be my next step after dyeing it but this is as much as I've got out with all the methods that I've tried and I'm fairly pleased with it it's the best I could do so I'm going to try and make it pinky purple next and so I'll see you in the next video